Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Jen and, in this video, you will learn how to make your own ambient lighting for your monitor or monitors with an Arduino, a WS2811 LED strip and an app for your PC you can download for free. Let's get started. First, you must set up the hardware. In the info card and in the video description you will find a link how to connect the WS2811 LED strip to the Arduino. The second step is to write the code for the Arduino. You can find the link to the program in the video description. step is to download and set up the app for your PC. In this tutorial I will use Prismatic. You can find the link to the website in the video description. I would recommend you download the upper version as I had problems with the lower version, which is the newer one. Next you have to open the downloaded file and run the setup wizard as I did it. You will find a sun in the taskbar if Prismatic is running and a give us moon when the program isn't running. If you double click on the symbol, the state changes. By right clicking, you can switch between your profiles, open the settings or close the program. We will open the settings now by left click on settings. After that you click on device you have to run the configuration wizard. You should select Adalaite as the connected device. Then you should find out the COM port of your Arduino. If you can't find it in the Arduino IDE, open the device manager and search for it under the item connections, COM LPT. I also had to change my color order from RGB to RBG so that all colors are displayed correctly. Then create a new profile and set the number of LEDs. I moved and resized each box by hand. If you want to make it easier, you can download the newer version and create the profile there. When you download the older version, the profiles of the newer version are preserved. In the task manager you can also set the program to start automatically so that you do not have to start it manually. The fourth step is to enjoy. Thanks for watching, please comment below if you have any suggestions for improvement or other ideas what I should do with the LED strip.